Tampa inherited her distinctive industrial profile from Key West and Havana. No soot-belching factories blackened her skyline. Rather, the work floors were populated by tabaqueros who shunned machines, preferring hand methods. In New York and Pennsylvania, machines were adopted early to produce the cheap two-for-a-nickel cheroot. Tampa designed her exports for discriminating consumers, a clientele willing to pay a premium price for what Lord Byron called sublime tobacco. Cigar makers constituted a special breed, in part because of the industry's roots in Seville and Havana. Cigar workers inherited a special ethos. Workers jealously guarded an assortment of fringe benefits which further accentuated their status. Employees, for instance, indulged in frequent coffee breaks, and between steaming cups of café con leche, craftsmen and women smoked samples of their art. Since workers were paid on a piecework basis, they controlled their pace. Cigar work was governed by the rhythms of the individual, not the stopwatch.